We're here at Screen Makers in Napoleon. Let's go check this out. What you looking for? I couldn't see. Oh, jeez. That was good, yep. <laughs> It smells like McDonald's ball pit here. We're done? Yeah. Tear Town next. Enjoy. Uh, can't see anything again. Oh, hey there, buddy. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> it's like scaling a mountain. I'm going through if you want it or not. Nobody wants to play with oh, 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 Okay, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Myself. It's all insanity here in the sanitarium. <laughs> and I'm the pharmacist. <laughs> Yelling again. Hey, Brian, that's right. This standoff started around 12 o'clock this afternoon, about a half an hour after the shooting at the strip mall when mommy police were contacted. We're not exactly sure if one of the people that died today was a student or a faculty member. That information is still not clear. The school is not taking any answers, but we do know that one person has been transported to the hospital. Not sure about their injuries right now, and one person has died. We'll continue to keep you posted, but for now, we'll toss it back to you, Angie. Chef Nate here was so nice this morning to come in super early and make me some of their dishes that they're offering on their special restaurant week menu. Now, you guys are offering a lot of things. Nate, what do we have right here? Okay, this is our uh, chicken and waffle dish with confit chicken wings, uh, waffle uh, with tarragon ginger butter, and a maple oil sauce. And this is the appetizer? Yes, that's our app. Uh, this is one of our entrees here, southern fried steak sliders with uh, smoked mayonnaise, um, pimento cheese, and a nice pickle. Very nice. It all looks so delicious. Now, you came up with these just for Restaurant Week, yes. right? Yes, I did. Yes. And I don't know, after I try this, you might need to add it to the <laughs> full menu. Always for a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to get this as the appetizer, this is the entree, plus a dessert. How much is this going to cost one customer? $20. $20. What a steal. Bring your money home. Bring your money home. More than four weeks after little Elena Steinfurth was last seen, the crowd gathered to pray for her safe return is still at over 100. I've never realized how much of an outpouring of help you can find from people you don't even know. It's assistance that family members and those close to them say helps them each day that the toddler is away from home. Just to keep the hope up and keep the prayers and just keep hoping that she's out there somewhere safe. Hopefully somebody's, you know, taking good care of her. That's what we hope. Bring it home! Bring it home! Hope that was dashed for at least a moment when those searching for baby Elena learned that it was in fact human hair taken out of the Maumee River by a local fisherman. Yeah, we didn't hear from any police or anything telling us. We heard, you know, third hand from somebody else and then I got the text across my phone and it's frustrating to find things out that way. But without any concrete answers yet on where baby Elena might be, Bring Elena home. Oh. her family is still praying for a miracle. I don't like to think that she may be in the water, but when we see them diving, it kind of hits the spot that, you know, she may be down there. If she is, let us find her and bring her back. Let her bury, let us bury her the right way. And while the stress of the situation is wearing on Elena's father and family, they move forward by 
thinking of the past. Uh, the last week or so that I've seen her, she's finally learned how to give a high five, and that was her biggest kick. You say, give me five, and her hand went up, and she just grinned from ear to ear. Memories that many hope this family will be able to have more of whenever baby Elena returns home. Right now, if there's any good news out of this flooding, it's the fact that the river is receding. I want you to take a look at where the river stands. Right now, the river was recorded at 13.99 feet, and it is going down. It crested this morning at 8.15 at 14.10 feet. My proposal was that the company should have gone into bankruptcy, and uh, then we should give help to get them back out of bankruptcy and, and survive and, uh, and grow and thrive. And ultimately, that's what the president did. I don't think a lot of people in Ohio understand that the president put the companies in bankruptcy, just as I recommended. It took him six months longer than I think he should have. And had I been president, I believe the industry would be even stronger today. Uh, we're here for a dodgeball uh, charity tournament. Yeah, we got a uh, you know, like a 50-page rule book, but you know it's a charity event, so we'll keep it pretty simple. Basic school ground dodgeball, six on six. Uh, if you get hit, you're out. We are here to support the Toledo Northwest Ohio Food Bank. I think we're gonna do amazing. If we win, we're all going to Hawaii. <laughs> you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Over a couple hundred people here today, uh, consisting of 22 teams, they're co-ed. I just kind of grabbed some people from work. Everybody just happened to want to get back in the dodgeball thing from high school. Nobody's played since then, so um, we're going to try and rekindle that old flame. It's going to be pretty amazing to watch, so you're in store for a treat.